The first principle that I want to discuss in how good games create deep understanding uh, is a principle I will call system thinking. Uh, in the modern world, most problems we face, most hard problems, have to do with complex systems. They have to do with things like the environment, the economy, uh, global immigration, uh, uh, with science, where you're trying to understand how many variables interact in very complex ways with each other. Uh, and there's a whole set of tools we have to do that. But it, if we're going to solve problems in the world, serious problems, people need to understand how complexity works and how complex systems work. They need to know how to do systems thinking. Now, games are actually very good at this because a game is its own form of complex system. What a game is, is a set of rules that interact in a way to give rise to effects based on decisions you make. In fact, good players try to build a model in their head of how, is the, how are the rules in this game working so that they give rise to me being able to accomplish my goals and even to emergent results for me to be able to do something that maybe even the game designer didn't know I could do. So games are a form of model-based reasoning, thinking of how variables come together so we can solve problems and accomplish goals. They, they are a core way to teach system thinking and to get people to have allegiance to it. System thinking and model-based reasoning, that is building a model in your head of how variables interact, in this case rules interact in a game, model-based reasoning is the foundation of scientific reasoning. So games are really, uh, the strategy in thinking in games is a form of scientific thinking.